Hello again. Good evening. So while I was uh, I'm cleaning off my guns to get ready for tomorrow's range day with my son, I get this uh, beeping uh, uh, note out of my uh, messenger asking me, uh, Hey Marcus, I noticed that uh, one of your slings is wrapped around the, like this one, around the handguard, the handrail of one of your firearms. What gives? So, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, two of my, two of my, uh, pistols, uh, pistols slash rifles actually have it in such a manner. It's wrapped, uh, and it does have a QD attachment. And just like my other sling, likewise has a QD endpoint on the sling. They're both magpoles. So why do I have it like that? And why do I have it like this? Well, I did learn this from a Marine, believe it or not. I do have, I, I know, I know I'm retired Navy, but I still have a few. I have, uh, uh, believe it or not, uh, you know, my apologies to all my uh, Navy guys. I do have a lot of Marines and Army friends. And one thing I learned from them is that these QD uh, connectors, they break down. And yes... What of mine broke down on my first AR. It broke down and it fell. Uh, kind of made a mess on my uh, 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 my bird gauge right up here. My three pronged uh, a flash hider. And uh, I said, "Man, that sucks." That at that point, that QD mount is probably about uh, I don't know twenty twenty five bucks. So when when they this parts break down that part breaks down because those are just little pins that goes into the mount itself so uh my marine friend said just take it off wrap it around the handrail you know what it does work so on all of those that uh even on my uh 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 stocks well this is not a stock this is a brace this is a brace right so you do have this little sections where you could wrap it around and reconnect it to your sling which i've done so they they do the they do a splendid job and now on this gun which is a pof uh my 556 pof patriot ordnance factory not pos pof trust me it's a very good rifle right it's a lot of engineering uh uh, uh, uh marvels incorporated into it and i love it so anyway, it works. Uh, yeah, none of this high-tech stuff wherein I rely on a small mount and a few pins. If it's, uh, how much did I pay for this sucker? $1,600 rifle uh, and you drop it, it breaks, you know? What what happens? If, uh, trust the Marine when it comes to a firefight, right? Now, why do I still have the QD mount on this? Simply because there's just no way for me to wrap it around the uh, M-lock. Or, or around the handrail itself. Uh, the handrail itself is already big enough for my hands. Uh, for the FOSS suppressor right here, they cannot make the handrail, handguard, any smaller without touching the suppressor. All right, so I will leave that up there and hopefully it doesn't break down. It does, the rear actually goes into the brace itself, which is fine. ATF, sorry, I am not doing any, any changes on it. Uh, uh, uh to, to, to make sure that the brace is any different from what i am using it for so help me out here all right i'm just reattaching my uh sling on my brace okay just like this guy right here so hopefully that answered my friend's question about slings all right you guys enjoy your day oh full disclaimer i am not a gun youtuber i'm just a guy that loves the mechanical intricacies of this thing, I can't shoot a lick. I can't even hit the ocean from a fantail of a ship, if you ask me. Anyway, yes, I'm that bad. Enjoy your evening, folks. Good night.